So we're now going to delve into how heat actually transfers from one body to another body. So in order to do that, we'll be looking at heat transfer mechanisms. So we'll be considering conduction, convection and radiation. We'll start with conduction. Now intuitively, you already know quite a lot about conduction. So for example, you know that if you want to stir something which is on a stove, it's not a great idea to stir it for too long with a metal spoon because the metal spoon will heat up because metal is a really good conductor of heat and this is likely to lead to you burning your hand. Asbestos, on the other hand, was a very popular building material because it is a very poor conductor of heat. So it's got excellent thermal insulation properties. Now, you can probably intuitively work out quite a lot about the equation relating the rate of heat transfer through a substance to the properties around that substance. So to help you do that, picture this block here. So this block has a surface area A and a thickness delta X. And we're going to have a hot side TH and a cold side TC. Now have a think about how all these terms are going to affect the rate at which the heat passes through that block. 